as you can see, I'm using 4K resolution here, and I'm recording this video in 4K, but I don't have a 4K monitor. I have a regular 1080p monitor. So how is this even possible? It all comes down to NVIDIA DSR, or Dynamic Super Resolution. This feature makes the GPU render in a higher resolution than your native monitor, then scales it down to be shown in your monitor. Today I will show you how to use it alongside OBS, so you can record in double the resolution of your monitor. But keep in mind that if for example you want to record in 4K, you must have a powerful GPU that can render in that resolution, or maybe play older games that the GPU can handle them very well in 4K for example. To enable it, you must have an NVIDIA GTX 400 GPU or later, so your GTX 980 or RTX 2060 will work just fine. If you have a supported GPU, then go to NVIDIA Control Panel, head to Manage 3D Settings, choose DSR Factors. In here you will see multiple options, these are just the multipliers of the resolution. This DL scaling is only available for RTX GPUs, but we're not talking about it in this video. We are going to check 4x or 4 times the resolution, which means that 1080p will render in 4K, 1440p will render in 5K, and 4K will render in 8K. Now the new resolution will be available in Windows Display Settings as a selectable resolution. Change it to 4K and choose the scaling as you desire. For me, I chose 200% for 4K with a 1080p monitor. Just experiment with what kind of scaling you see the best. It's always advisable to use multiplies of 2. For instance, if you use 100% scaling in 1080p, then choose 200% in 4K and so on. In OBS, just duplicate the profile that you have and rename it after the new resolution. Go to Settings and go to the Video section and put the new resolution there. You can now go to the game you want and start playing and recording in native 4K. Here I got some comparisons of some games in 1080p versus 4K. Playing in 4K with low anti-aliasing in most games is better than playing in 1080p with a strong anti-aliasing. But as I said before, you must have a powerful GPU so that it can render in at least 60fps in the doubled resolution. But this technique also works if you just want to take the best high resolution screenshot inside a game. If you are using this technique mainly to record screen recordings for tutorials, it's recommended to change to the doubled resolution, then restart Windows. By doing this, you will make sure that scaling with programs will be proper, and you will have the best looking screen recordings. In conclusion, I think this technique will benefit content creators the most, because it will enable them to take clear screen recordings like I did in this video but it will also benefit gamers who have powerful GPUs but stuck at lower resolution monitors like 1080p or 900p. If you want the best recording settings in OBS, then watch this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.